Yes, hello everybody. Thanks for coming. Um, well, the, what we are doing here is struggling, actually. We are struggling uh, for, to explain what is actually going on. Uh, as Philip already remarked yesterday in the uh, book uh, presentation, um, there is the horror, there was the horror of 7 October. Uh, but in addition to that horror, um, there is the appalling reactions to 7 October. So this is a twofold problem that we are actually dealing with and um, that we are trying to come to terms uh, with. And um, so the question, uh, how could that happen? Why are people reacting like that? People who are identifying themselves into the left, who are identifying them, who are identifying themselves as feminists, as queer theorists, as queer activists, and so on. So how come that they um, legitimize Hamas terror as a mere political outcry or whatsoever, com thereby com is another also misogynist um, ideology of Hamas. So this is um, something that is really um, not we need explanations for this and there's so much research to be done and so much work to be done in order to come to terms with that, in order to go to get data in order to get information in order to be able eventually to fundamentally criticize those developments within our society and uh, to um, also publicly counter it and i think an event like this conferences like this um, shall also motivate people to do research in that direction and to um, well, and also to bridge a certain isolation that we might have experienced within uh, during the last uh, month since 7 October. I think that this is uh, an experience that we all share, that we feel more and more isolated, that we feel more and more lonely also within our academic communities, um, that we make the experience that we lose our political home also in regard for um, I'm, speak, I'm speaking from my own experience as a feminist as a left critical feminist uh, it is so um, appalling to see how the, the whole community uh, or parts major parts of the community um, fall away from uh, and, and are not reachable for me anymore. So I think this is uh, something that events like this can bridge a shell bridge. And I think for this, it's very important uh, that we are doing that. And um, I think that um, what is also uh, important to address is that there is within the very small community that's doing research on anti-Semitism anyway. There is a gap within that small community anyway. And on the one hand, we've got those who uh, more or less restrict um, the concept of anti-Semitism to the manifest level, more or less manifest level, and uh, focus uh, in particular on historical uh, and racist forms uh, of uh, anti-Semitism, and who would be very, very reluctant uh, to recognize more camouflaged forms of anti-Semitism, particularly those who are related to, which are related to uh, Israel hatred. Um, so, um, and against that background of uh, academic discourse on anti-Semitism being in that way restricted to those forms of anti-Semitism and leaving out Israel hatred as a form of anti-Semitism, against that background, anti-Semitism, the anti-Zionism anti anti of the Hamas can then be legitimized as a mere political view in a conflictual situation which um, would hardly have to do anything with anti-Semitism. So that's the one side of anti-Semitism research. And I think that's a major problem. And that's the other side. Uh, there's another 
community maybe um, doing research on anti-Semitism and those uh, who see anti-Semitism not simply as a prejudice against Jews um, and also not as a static thing, but as an ever-changing manifestation of the contradictory structure of modern society. And this is what actually we try to do. Uh, this is how we we are engaged in um, researching and in analyzing actual current modernized camouflaged forms of anti-Semitism, in particular in this moment, uh, Israel related forms of uh, anti-Semitism. So, and we understand Israel related uh, anti-Semitism as the modernized form of anti-Semitism as an integrative ideology, which integrates uh, completely opposed um, moments within the political spectrum. So uh, Israel-related anti-Semitism connects the right wing to the left wing, feminists to Islamists, climate change activists to right wing activists. And I think this is really a very interesting thing so that eventually uh, we can say that uh, Israel-related anti-Semitism is a universal integrative ideology, uh, one that integrates an otherwise completely fractured political spectrum. And um, I do hope that we will get um, more um, work done in that uh, respect uh, in the next uh, few months and that this is um, kind of a starting point uh, for all of us to get connected and to exchange our ideas uh, on this subject. Thank you very much.